How's everybody doing? I'm gonna show you today the most high-end vehicle in my collection, the Boom Racing BRX02. I got my party hat on, I designed it myself. This is what we do when we, after our bike rides, after our crawl sessions. But today it's all about this car. Check this out, hard body. We has a, it has a custom Spectre Edition look. We made the cage ourselves, put some rope, opening doors. We'll check this thing, how it modulates. Nice and slow, but check out the top speed is about five, six miles an hour. Maybe more, but with the flick of a switch, a servo gets in there. Gives it that second gear when you need to get away. Also, check out the steering. Well over 45 degrees. And finally, the last trick up the sleeve is uh, the spring-loaded body release tabs. Boom. coil realism or performance every body is unique it has your unique license plate i should put it on huh and um so let's open it in the packaging everything is in here except for the body of course but check this out it's three levels of parts in a very organized format so you just you just take out the layers like that and I will sh I'll show you the highlights. The assembly took about six, seven hours, and it is just perfect, you know, kind of like a Vanquish. Uh, the highlight e are these carbon fiber chassis. So the BRX-02 is a, a successor to the BRX-01. It is wider, carbon fiber, a few improvements, a clipless, body clipless mounting system uh, compatible with a few bodies, and I'll tell you all about that. And this one has leaf springs perfectly tuned i mean it's 650 bucks but if you take a look at what you're getting and in the quality that they put into it it's well worth the money so a uh, couple highlights you know you have these uh, uh, uh instead of dog bones in the middle you know you have these middle drive shafts that are just so so precise bumpers that are metal no need to upgrade these things um and then uh, tires that are just so realistic tiny little tires though for for this vehicle uh, and a two-speed drivetrain they give you a servo for the two-speed and then look at these i forgot what they call these axles but they are built already and they're perfectly built so that's what you're getting about 650 bucks like i said and you could you could use any body but if you want the clipless mounting system, you want to use two available Team Rafi bodies. One is a Land Rover Defender SUV, and the other one that we have is a Land Rover pickup. So we chose the pickup because we had the vision of a James Bond machine. Biff and Marty McFly are in there right now. I can't find the right size James Bond, so a little rope there. The cage we built ourselves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a lot of uh, Randy ingenuity, uh, but now they sell it. Boom Racing made one called the Spectre Rock. It, it's made to look just like the one in the movie. Uh, I believe 50 bucks is what they charge, but opening everything, doors, uh, hood. Uh, oh, we have some diamond plating here. Folding mirrors, just an amazing body, a full interior and you know, it, it's not heavy, it's not light, it's about four pounds. And I'll show you the chassis, the highlights of the chassis. So here we go, front to rear. This is, this is our own bumper, we didn't use uh, their bumper because we wanted to make it, make it look like the Spectre one. But these are the re receivers for the body mounting system. So rigid, you know, no Velcro, no upside down body clips or uh, screws. It's just boom, spring loaded. Um, Tolerances are critical. You can't have any exposed wires uh, when that body 
uh, comes in because uh, everything is maximized. Space is maximized so you can have a full interior. The gearbox is here, so motor and then boom. Uh, and the two speed is right here, the servo. So a three channel system. It, and it's actually handy, you know, to have this two speed because there's a huge difference between first and second gear. The, um, uh, the underpinnings are all quality stuff. Nice shocks, good articulation. The receiver is back here. So you have to run these wires. Batteries over here. Found a spot for our big ESC. We're using the Axe V2 system. A lot of power uh, on, on this bad boy. And the wheels we're using are pretty special. These are boom racing wheels, but we have these 500 gram weights in the front. So essential that, um, over here I think 200 grams. Essential that you get the weight down, counter that four pound body, and you can see the performance. It's actually pretty darn good. So, so there you go. If you're into the the high end, you know, Vanquish is one option, but this is another one that's just completely mind blowing. They even have a dually version of this. Um, you could put any body if you put body pop body clips, uh, but it's just so realistic. When you have a 13 pound vehicle going like going at it, uh, it it you and you feel you feel like you don't want to scratch the body, like just like a real car, and you feel that it it behaves like your real your real vehicles. And I think that's one really cool part of RC cars. Thanks a ton guys and enjoy the running video. Well, I have some questions at the end for you guys. Uh, so hang, hang on.
All right, my questions for you guys are, I am, uh, I, I'm, I wanna grow the channel, I wanna spend more time with it. Do you guys value uh, an Instagram? I can run some contests, you know, grow the subscribers and whatnot. Uh, I can also do what some folks are doing, Patreon, where you uh, donate money to me. Um, and you know, uh, so support the channel, maybe get some perks, early releases, some B-roll of the video, some more information. So what do you guys think? Uh, what are some good ideas on how to grow this channel sustainably? Because I'm spending now, you know, 20 to 40 hours a week on it and spending a lot of money buying these things. All right, thanks a ton, guys.